to download the revision guides which accompany these videos, head over to www.mrbrow.com. Hello and welcome to this video translating Act 3, Scene 2 of Macbeth. On the left hand side is the original text, on the right hand side the modern translation which I'll read to you and it's taken from the ebook. the link is in the description. So it's in the palace, Lady Macbeth and a servant uh, entering. Lady Macbeth says, has Banquo left the castle? The servant says, yes madam, but he's coming back tonight. Lady Macbeth says, tell the king I would like to speak to him briefly if he has the time. And the servant says, I will madam, and then the servant leaves. Lady Macbeth says, if we're not happy with what we've achieved and given everything to get it, then it would be better to be the person who is murdered rather than the murderer who is tormented with anxiety. Macbeth says, how are you, my lord? Uh, sorry, Macbeth comes in and then Lady Macbeth says to him, how are you, my lord? Why are you keeping yourself all alone with only your dark and sorrowful thoughts to keep you company? Those thoughts and worries should have died with the men that they are about. There's no point in worrying about things you can't change. What's done is done. Macbeth says, we have wounded the snake, not killed it. She will heal herself and go back to normal while we'll still be at risk of her biting us. But let the entire universe fall apart before I will eat my meals in fear and let these terrible nightmares keep me from sleep. I'd rather be dead along with the men we've killed than have to put up with this terrible mental torture and being unable to sleep, which we did for our own peace. Duncan is in his grave. The troubles of his life are over and he sleeps well. We've done the worst we possibly could to him. Nothing else can hurt him now. Not poison, nor the blade of a knife or a sword, nor rebellions, nor invasion. Lady Macbeth says, come on, calm down, my lord. Gloss over your unhappy looks. Be happy and cheerful for your guests that are coming tonight. Macbeth says, I will, my love, and you should do the same. Make sure you treat Banquo well. Say nice things about him, and make sure he wants for nothing. We're not safe at the moment, and we must put off suspicion by speaking, hiding our true feelings and intentions. Lady Macbeth says, you have to stop talking about this. And Macbeth says, oh, my mind is full of scorpions, my dear wife. You know that Banquo and his son Fleance are alive. And Lady Macbeth says, but they can't live forever. Macbeth says, there's comfort in that thought. They are able to be killed. Be happy, wife, before the bat has flown from here to answer the goddess Hecate's call before the beetle has made its humming noise like a bell saying it's night time, a dreadful deed will be done. Lady Macbeth says, well, what are you going to do? And Macbeth says, it's better you don't know, dear, until after it's done. I'm going to analyse this particular piece of speech in the next video. Uh, until it's after it's done and you are happy about it. Come, dark of night, and cover up the tender eye of pitiful day, and with your bloody and invisible hand rip up Banquo's life contract, which... While it exists and he's alive, worries me. The sky is darkening and the crow flies into the woods. The good things of the day uh, begin to get sleepy while the agents of darkness awake to hunt. You are amazed by my words, but be still for a bit. Once you commit bad deeds, you are forced to carry out more bad deeds. So please, come with me. And there ends the scene.